You know, you guys didn't even remember that it was my birthday, Dad. How could you all? Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays and welcome to part 12 of my mint generation of Not So Berry. It's the middle of the night and I've started recording now because our girl has gone into labor. Before I hit play, I actually wanted to show you guys I've made a bunch of changes to the house because we needed room for a baby. I figure since the ski trip, they've had an extension put on. So the study is here, but this room used to go across here. I've basically cut that off and put in a hall. We have a little nursery up here for the baby. So the other change I've made is I decided since Cyan got skis and a trip away for her birthday that they've put on a little home gym downstairs in the basement. So that was like Darnell's big birthday present. It's not a very big gym. It's just got weights and a treadmill and some music and stuff. And I also added a little downstairs bathroom with the career awards. So this shower was a career award for the scientist career. It's 2.40 in the morning. This little guy, he was ready to wake up anyway, but I'm going to say he woke up because of all of the ruckus. Now it is actually Phoenix's birthday. It's the morning of Phoenix's birthday. So he's gotten up. I'm going to actually have him come in here and be like, what's going on, dad? Why is mom making that face, dad? He's going to come in and suggest some fun activities because his dad seems like he's stressing. It's like, dad, what's going on? I don't understand. And Danielle's like, your mother's, uh, the baby's coming, honey. So I'm going to take her to the hospital and you can stay home. And Cyan's like, look, it'll be fine, Phoenix. Don't worry about it. Darnell is going to put some clothes on. Darnell, you got to put some clothes on, buddy. So he can change into some clothes. So he's going to be like, look, son, I'm just, I'm going to go get dressed. I have to take your mum. He's feeling very stressed, but he's giving Phoenix a little reassuring hug. And Phoenix, I think, is feeling a little bit kind of put out. He's also angry at his dad still from the whole unblessed situation. But he's feeling a little bit put out because it's his birthday. And he's like, they haven't wished me happy birthday. I think he's feeling a little bit sad about that. But obviously, to be fair to them, they have other things on their mind. Send alone. Wait, can I not? Oh, no, he is going. So poor little Phoenix is at home. He's like, wow, she's going to have a baby. I mean, it's they're lucky that he's such a responsible kid, but he's, you know, <laughs> I feel bad for him. It's his birthday. He's about to become a teen. Given that we're talking about him potentially getting someone pregnant soon, we're going to say it's like his 15th or 16th birthday because any younger than that, it's just, it's icky. Okay. So she's had a girl. Now I did get some name suggestions. Thank you very much. So Kat suggested a bunch of beautiful names for boys and girls. They are all red themed names and I'm going to use one of them, but I'm actually not planning on giving the child a makeover because this girl's not our heir. So she'll look like whatever genetics the games give her, game gives her. But I'm going to call her Ruby because I think that's a really pretty name. Ruby Berry. And it's just one. Very exciting. I'm sure they'll come home at some point. I'm actually going to have this little guy in the meantime come into the kitchen and in the most tragic situation ever he's gonna try and make himself a birthday cake it's like oh my mum's probably gonna be really busy with the baby and stuff so he's like I'm gonna go make myself a cake these guys have come home they're feeling very happy she's feeling very embarrassed from something that happened at work honestly cyan that's just that's you right so let's move little ruby into her bedroom. Now I haven't put much in the way of furnishings in here. I was actually thinking I wanted to steal this table. I might actually just buy one for Ruby's room. It's actually a change table. I'll just recolor it because obviously in this room I'm going for more Cyan's color palette. I do still have toddler stuff. That's good. I didn't think I had the toddler stuff anymore. I'll leave that in there for now. I might have kept toddler stuff actually because of summer gen baby. If I search for Twaveler, which is like my favorite kids CC pack ever. That's what I'm looking for, the actual changing table thing. So that's all I'm really gonna do in this room for now. It's not furnished really, but you know, it's a baby can't get out of its bassinet so that's fine oh i did also get this because phoenix needed for his aspiration he's finished this aspiration he needed to make it across the monkey bars three times so i bought some monkey bars all right let's come in and say hi to the baby give the baby a feed and a cuddle i think that 
Cyan, like Darnell, up until now, Darnell has always been closer to Phoenix because he, I think maybe he bonded with him more. Like, you know, it's his son and maybe Cyan was like, well, on the conversations of boy things, that's your job. You have to teach him how to use a toilet and stuff. I don't know. I don't have that kind of equipment. I think she's probably going to be a bit more hands-on with Ruby. Again, this is all a bit tragic for little Phoenix. So he's going to add some birthday candles and then I'm going to put it in the fridge. So I don't actually intend to have him blow them out right now but he obviously couldn't sleep he was feeling a bit mad at his parents for not even remembering to wish him a happy birthday oh it's doing that thing where the skin tone changes that's good i mean i didn't think that she was going to be the pasty white baby that it was showing in the crib but i've had this glitch i had the same thing with phoenix the baby looks different in the crib than they do when they're being held so look at that and then when she was holding her she had like a more normal skin tone for the parents that she's got like it's quite strange but I'm gonna have her oh she's very tired she's gonna go to bed I'm gonna have him and Phoenix come in and Darnell's gonna introduce him to his little sister I don't think Phoenix will do autonomously that whole me and you sibling interaction I think that's more of a toddler thing Phoenix has come in and then walked out again I guess he didn't really want to meet the baby he can talk to her wake her up Darnell's gonna be like what are you doing waking up the baby I mean I think Phoenix it's not that he's opposed to the idea of having having a new sibling I just think the competition I mean newborns are very attention hungry compared to primary school age children so oh is that because he woke her up it probably is but he's like I don't think she likes me a little guy he's got school soon I might actually have him take the day off have him take a vacation day I mean he was up all night his parents have gone to bed oh my god I don't know who that person is but they really like dance I think these guys are both on vacation as well I think I had them take yeah they're both on family leave today but yeah Phoenix is like they still haven't wished me happy birthday did they even remember to get him a present short answer possibly not now I did give his school friends make like his club members makeovers so what I've done is I've changed the group so that it can have children or teens in it for now and then the kids he had the highest relationships with I've put in the group and I gave them all quick makeovers just to like make them look more coherent because these kids have all aged up in game with MC command center so they all looked pretty bad uh, <laughs> so We've got Billy, Olivia, Pierce, Elsa, Connor, and Kara. So in terms of the girls he gets on with the best who are potential future love interests, Kara and Billy are the ones he gets on best with. I kind of, part of me doesn't want to do that to Kara. Like, I don't want to do that to Johnny and Kara. And I feel like Johnny Zest is the kind of sim that would try to, like, he would want to try, if his daughter got pregnant, he would want to try and look after the baby as well. I feel like Johnny would want to be very hands-on. And maybe that's okay, but I do quite like Kara. She's an animal enthusiast. Elsa, I think she got romantic when she aged up as a trait. So I think she's a definite possibility. But we'll see how it goes. It's feeling so sad. Poor boy. I think Darnell will have just seen the cake in the fridge and been like, oh, Cyan, it's his birthday. Oh, try for baby. No. We've had enough of that, thank you. He's going to be like, did you get anything for Phoenix's birthday? And she's like, uh, no, I thought you got that. And he's like, well, I didn't, you know. And she's like, we well, did get him a sister. Darnell's saying, well, no offense, honey. And obviously I love our daughter, but I don't really think that's what a teenage boy wants for his birthday. So she's going to have to really quickly think of something that she can give. It's like, oh my God, I don't even know what she could give. Like she's got obviously a bunch of gemstones and crystals and stuff. He's not going to want any of that. She's got lots of fruit and veg. She does have her freeze ray. I could have her quickly order him. Actually, could she make one? We don't have the crafting thing. Oh, can she clone it? A valid item to copy must be placed on. Dang it. We do have an unbound voodoo doll, but I don't think she would. Uh, if I could, I would transform these and see what we got. But you cannot transform them. I just figure if they're forgotten, like, I mean, I could go into Build and Buy and buy you know, some ridiculous thing, but it's not realistic that that would happen. She could always be like, I'm going to go to the shops and get something real quick. Actually, it probably makes more sense for him too, because obviously she needs to breastfeed the baby every 30 seconds. <laughs> Newborns are pretty intense, like in real life. And it's not 30 seconds. It's about every three hours. It's a lot. Let's have him have a quick look on Plopsy and we'll say that whatever he gets on Plopsy is like something that he's gotten at the local shop, like he's quickly zipped out. So we could get a mood candy. <gasps> we should get the little baby onesie for the 
baby. I'm getting that. Not for him, obviously. Oh, that's a cool painting. Listed, listed by Crumple Bottom number one. Uh, that's got dogs on it. Oh, that's a cool painting. I mean, there's nothing in here I think a teenage boy would like, but that's kind of the point. Uh, we'll get him a mood candle and I'll get him this painting because it's red. Let's get those. So he's ducked out to the nearest shop and he's like just grabbing whatever they had on the shelf because obviously they don't have a lot of time and poor little phoenix is coming home so the items are in darnell's inventory let's come in here and put the onesie on the baby <gasps> i love it so much i mean the color's not green or red but that's okay oh limestone we could transform that let's do that and she can transform it let's see what happens ew kill ew hello what a transformed into a fossil rock, an ancient deposit of sedimentary rock. Isn't that exactly what it was? Wait. Oh, it transformed into a vase. <laughs> just took a while. It's not really a birthday present for a teenager, so I've just put it on the dining table. So, yeah, poor little Phoenix has come home. He's feeling very overheated. Yeah, you need to get changed. Give him a comforting hug. And then, do you need a shower? You are a bit stinky. So I will have him come in and have a shower. Let's have a quick look at little Ruby in her blue onesie. It is very cute. It's very cute. So I think think they are like thinking that they would wish him a happy birthday and he's basically stomped through and gone into the shower and they're kind of like uh oh did we mess up i mean we did go to work on off hours oh she just got the workaholic lifestyle so she's probably going to be very upset at taking time off work no 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 stop oh i didn't mean to do that no she's like oh i just got a phone call i have to go to work and that's gonna make him even sadder i think he's gonna have a bit of an argument you know you guys didn't even remember that it was my birthday dad how could you all you went off and had a baby and you didn't even remember it was my birthday and danielle's like look we did remember honey i'm sorry you felt neglected today it's bad timing that your sister was born on your birthday it does happen sometimes though it's like calm down phoenix you know it's not, it's not Ruby's fault. It's no one's fault. And it's like, but mum went to work. I mean, that's not her fault either. I clicked the wrong button. So he's apologizing and Phoenix is like, look, oh, look how mad he is. Didn't I tell you to go have a shower, kiddo? Go have a shower. Go take a cold shower. So he's like, look, thank you for taking the dog for a run. Go have a shower and I'll give you, we'll give you a present. And he's like, well, it's not we, is it? Because mum went to work. And I think Daniel is possibly a little bit mad with her. Look, I didn't mean to send Cyan to work, but like, I'll just roll with it. You know, it happens. So he's like, oh my gosh, I need to make such a fuss of this kid. So he's going to give him his present and his mood candle. Blue bellies of bliss. I wonder what mood that candle actually produces. Oh, blue bells. I thought they were as bellies. Blue bellies. What? It's fine. He's like, look, son, we did remember. We'll give him the painting. We'll give him his bluebells of bliss. Did he like it? He seems like he liked it. Oh, the baby's crying. Oh, they got a sentiment. All right, give him the candle and then you really have to go and look after this baby. I realized I'm putting myself in a situation where I'm going to be working on all three generations at once. I feel like I am creating a massive problem for myself. He got some presents. He seemed happy that he got gifts. So I might put those that painting on the wall. It's a bit more orange than red, isn't it? I do obviously have to give his bedroom a teen makeover, but not just yet. Can I get you to come in here and I'm actually going to have him blow out the candles? Are you feeling mad again? Why are you stomping? He doesn't even have an angry mood lit, but he's like still angry walking. Happy birthday, buddy. Try again. I'm very excited to see what he looks like as a teen. I'm really, really excited. Now, I have to... What is it? He needs romantic and... I actually can't remember what the third trait is. I'm just going to confirm before I hit OK. So it's hot-headed snob and romantic. I'm going to go with romantic first. We'll do snob later. I don't feel like he's snobby yet. I think snob is down the track. And he needs to be a serial romantic. All right. Stop sparkling. We need to have a look at you. Oh, he's, I mean, I've obviously got to take off the skin details. He's got his dad's eyes. Colour notwithstanding, he's got the shape of his dad's eyes. I think he's going to be pretty handsome. Let's jump into Cass and we'll give him a quick makeover. I'm very excited for this. <laughs> right, you guys, that took more time than I care to admit. Also, I gave him multiple outfits for pretty much everything. So this is little Phoenix. Whew. 
he's aged up pretty well, I would say. I gave him the same hair. I think he had that hair as a toddler, but I need to get more good curly hairs. Like, I need to go CC shopping for some new Maxis Match hairs. If you have any creators to recommend, let me know. I just don't have a huge amount of ones that have curls that I like. He doesn't have the full tight afro curl that his dad has. He's got more of a loose curl. There's just not much in that kind of range. He's not super buff, but he's also quite thin at the moment. That's obviously that teen metabolism. Lucky boy. He's not, he's not a bad looking fella, gotta say. So that's his second every day. Then I gave him a third every day. (laughs) He's more, I figured he's a sporty kind of guy. Maybe he's into sports and staying physical. I think formal wear is the only one I only gave him one. I thought this could be like, maybe we'll do like a prom thing later, like a year 12 formal type thing. That's what they call them here. They call them formals rather than proms. But yeah, same idea. Uh, He's in Brightchester pants, not Brightchester, Foxbury sponsors local high school kids or something. Or maybe he's just really into Foxbury merch. I don't know. There's that workout wear. We have a couple of sleepwears. This is the at home with the parents sleepwear. This is the I'm a serial romantic. (laughs) He's probably going to buy this with his own pocket money. Not super relevant yet, but I did add it in there. So it's available for later. For his party wear, I figured if he's being a little bit more moody, edgy, broody teen, I've gone for like, you know, hot, I don't super care. I've got rips in my clothes. You know, look at me, mom. But don't look at me, mom. I'm too angsty. So those are his party wear outfits. We have two swimwear outfits. I didn't put flippers on it because I know he'll use it in like a swimming pool and make me mad. But I imagine this would be a snorkel and flippers kind of an outfit for if he goes to the beach. This is also quite beachy. And then we have, this is his less beachy of his two summer wear ones. This is what I imagine he'd wear on the beach. I was thinking, I don't think he can be a lifesaver as a teen. I don't think that they can do that part-time career, but that would actually be really good for him. And then we have winter wear number one and winter wear number two. So I think he's turned out not too bad, if I do say so myself. Get him to go to the bathroom. I was actually thinking I'm going to take him out. And then we can have like a little club gathering, which can be him like hanging out with his friends on his birthday because school's finished now and his dad's gone to sleep. Poor Darnell. He's had a stressful day. I can't believe Cyan's like pushed out a baby and then 12 hours later, she's back in the office. I like to imagine it was an emergency phone call. She got a phone call from someone saying, you have to come in straight away. The something, something's caught fire and she's had to take off to the office. That's why. She does have an excuse for it, but it's also very poor form. We might stick to Oasis Springs now. Where's, I think, Kara and Johnny live in one of these houses. Yeah, they live here. I mean, she's in the same neighborhood. I could just have him walk over there. Are any of the others in the same neighborhood? Pollination technician was just across the road. Yeah, why don't we go here? Then go to the pool. It also gives me a chance to show you guys the makeovers that they've had. So he's like, they've messaged him being like, happy birthday, why weren't you at school? And he's like, oh my God, you wouldn't believe it. My mum had her baby on my birthday. Can we like go out somewhere, please? Because I am so over this house right now. I just need to get out. And of course, being good friends, they're all like, sure, no worries. I mean, they know Phoenix is a little, he gets fired up pretty easily, but because he does care about his friends and he is generally a good person, they they forgive him his short temper. You know, maybe in the schoolyard, he's fired up in their defense before, like someone was picking on someone else and he's gotten up in the other person's face. Now, I'm just going to pause this real quick and show you guys this friendship group. Wow. Okay, so this is, I think that's Elsa. Now she's the one I'm thinking as a first love interest, partly because she's blonde. I mean, I'm going to change their hair to be blonde or yellow anyway for the next generation, but hopefully some of her yellowness will be passed on (laughs) to the next generation. Partly because I'm pretty sure she also has the romantic trait. And like I said, partly because I don't want to do that to Johnny because I feel like Johnny's est and his daughter have probably suffered enough in this world. This is Pierce. I gave him a little bit of a wannabe moustache. You know, he's probably the oldest of the group and he's like, look how mature I am. (laughs) so cute. And then we have over here, this is Billy. She's our other possibility. I do think because they get on quite so well that maybe there could be some interest there down the track. I was mainly thinking Elsa for the first, just for reasons of genetics. <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Then we have, now this boy has aged up incredibly well. Wow. This is Connor Benners. He is one of Plumbella's sims. He lives in a house with three other siblings and his parents and 
Whew. I mean, I obviously gave him a makeover, but I did not do anything to his, like, face shape. I didn't do anything to his uh, physicality, like his weight and fitness sliders and stuff. He just aged up looking like that. And I feel like Phoenix wishes he could be Connor. Do you know what I mean? I think he's the he's the hot boy of the group that all the girls are probably like, ooh, it's Connor. Connor looked at me. This is Olivia Kim Lewis. She's quite cute. And then we have little Kara, who I adore. She's a sweet bean and she deserves better than the way Phoenix is probably going to treat her. But she also has the kind of genetics that I would approve of for summer. Oh, I keep saying summer. It's because Kelsey and Peach K's yellow gen seem in her not so berry challenge is named summer. So I keep calling it summer generation and it's not. I've probably said that a bunch of times. That is why she would have good yellow gen parent genes. I'm more inclined to go for Elsa because I think Elsa's family situation is more likely, like, I feel like her parents are more likely to be willing to agree to Cyan and Darnell taking any future offspring. That's my logic. Anyway, that's enough talking. So, you know, they're all like wishing Phoenix a happy birthday. He's like, thanks guys. So I just, I kind of want him to be able to like cut loose and have some fun with his friends because I do feel like his parents have neglected him horribly. That's more like it. Yay! Yeah, let me know what you guys think of the assorted potential love interests and stuff. Like, I will obviously take your opinions on board. If you guys are like, Olivia Kim Lewis is definitely the one for us, then we can do that. I like to see, I see Kara as like his good friend, like girlfriend, who, a friend who is a girl. You know, more long term, he might break her heart. I can see all kinds of cool stories we could have. These two are showing off. Oh, nice. She's got like vivid blue eyes. Eyes, obviously I would have to change that. See what I mean? She's really cute. I feel like she's got good genetics. I feel like Kara has better genetics, but you know, whatevs. Jump for group. Let's do a swan dive. He's like, no, but I like the water slide, mom. Isn't she beautiful? Kara Zest. Oh my God. This is a sim that I think Plumbella's created because Johnny Zest in base game, obviously is not a single dad. He's on his own. All right. <laughs> oh, he's got a crown coming out his butt. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> and this little old lady's inserted herself. She's like, oh, I remember when I was young and hot. And this guy's like, yeah, I remember when you were young and hot too. Let's see if I can get to know their traits. Oh, he's tired. Oh, he should not be in the pool. Yeah, I might have little Phoenix and his friends come in here and we'll like order drinks and stuff. Maybe he could have a birthday cupcake. Cyan came home. What did she do? Oh, so close. She should get promoted tomorrow. I mean, that is good, right? She's probably like, where'd Phoenix go? I'd said I wouldn't be long. And it's like, it's 7 p.m., Cyan. I expect these two are having an argument at home. Like, he'd be mad that she went in. It's like, you just had a baby. You've left me at home with a newborn and an angry teenage boy. Don't get back in that pool. No, come back here. You're going to get a coffee. I don't want you in the pool. You're going to drown and that'll be the shortest challenge ever. Yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think of the girls in particular. I, I think in the next part, he might ask one of them out on a date so that we can go on love day with them. So yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, if you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.